Welcome to the Frankie Fix channel YouTube heads and today we're just going to do a brief video on how the drive system on a snowblower works. Now I've got the drive system completely removed from my snowblower that I'm renovating and that video is going to be up shortly. Uh, we have a couple springs here. We have a spring down here. Uh, I like this system here on the older snowblowers. These are all metal gears, very solid. Uh, and wh what happens is, is when you select the uh, gear that you want, whether first, second, third, reverse, whatever, and then you press the handle, what's going to happen is this is hooked to your belt, this pulley, and it's constantly turning. And what happens is this will move when you're hitting your shifter you're actually moving this over and there's a rubber wheel here and as soon as you hit your handle there's some tension on the spring it's going to push it down and make that wheel come in contact with the plate that's down here and once that comes in contact with the plate then that's what begins turning the gears here you take the wheel off So you're going to see something like that happen because these wheels are powered by this rubber friction disc that comes in contact with the plate here. Now that's why it's important that this plate remains clean. Now what's so neat about the system is, uh, if you think about it, the, the way this turns, one side is turning in one direction and one side is actually turning in the other direction so that's how you get your reverse gear um, so that's basically how the system works so you always want to keep these lubricated don't go too crazy uh, with it and you definitely have to cover this plate if you're going to lubricate this make sure you don't get any grease on here so if you're getting slippage on your snowblower and I like these systems over the the cheaper gearboxes that are plastic that you'll find in a lot of Craftsman and MTD machines. Uh, all these gears are very solid metal uh, where you run into the plastic housing one similar to the transmissions used in lawnmowers you're gonna have a brass gear in there what happens is they, they get they shred up and those are quite expensive to replace and a lot of like the older Craftsmen they don't sell just the gear they want you to buy the entire transmission, which can run 200 and something dollars. So wow. this is a great system. It's in many different snowblowers. I have an Aaron's that has the same system. A lot of snowblowers, I would say good snowblowers, would have this system. Uh, the rubber wheel here lasts quite a long time. I've actually never had to replace one yet. Uh, but if you are having slippage and it's not going into drive, this is the mechanism that you want to check. Take the cover off. You know, clean your uh, rubber wheel off. Go ahead and clean this plate off. Um, obviously, you want to check the tension on your belt. Uh, but that's the basic operation of a uh, snowblower drive transmission. Uh, so thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you next time.